you can relax. That's the name of our podcast. Hello, welcome to Relax the Podcast. I'm Colleen Ballinger here with my awesome, cute co-host, Carrot Stocklin. How are you, love? I'm, I'm okay. You're just okay. I'm great. How are you doing? I'm okay. Oh, that's good. It's good to hear that you're okay. I love that. Look at that smile. <laughs> Look at your smile. Look at those teeth. Um, I I like your shoes, Dabber Dan. You like those? I've, have I ever seen these before? Uh, those look brand some new. Some call it a podcast. They call it a fashion cast. Yeah. What's with the sh- these fancy shoes? You look so uh, dapper. New, sh- new shoes. Trying them out. I literally just now noticed them. Is this the first time you put them on? Yeah. Like I didn't even notice before we started shooting. I was. They too arrived like- in a package today. Oh my. Put them on and uh, for the podcast. So listener may want to check out that YouTube video because I have shoes on. You sure do have shoes on. Thanks, love. Thanks for, uh, thanks for noticing. That means a lot. You're welcome. Um, like your socks. Thanks. I think they're yours. Um, they are. <laughs> so we have a fun episode for you guys today. I have some very controversial, crazy things that I want to talk about. Whoa. I know. And I uh, have things. I have a haunting a haunting that I want to talk about. Okay. Yeah. A ghost story. Mm-hmm. I have things that I think should relax. Well, let's start there, love. Okay. Who do you think needs to relax this week? You mean to go first? I can. Sure. I want to talk about forks and where do they come from and where do they go? Because I've noticed that in our house and you've noticed mm-hmm. that forks, sorry, was this yours? No. You're looking at me like this was my relax. No, it's not. stole it. No. Uh, I've noticed that we have spoons 30 to 40 Mm -hmm. knives, butter and steak plethora Mm -hmm. forks, three, three to two at any given time, usually zero. And it sparked a conversation between us about like, where are the forks? Where have all the forks gone? And then I had a thought of, Oh, I've never bought forks. Like, and I mean like in my lifetime, I've never, never bought like a silverware set where there's no, forks. Never. Set? But I've always what? But, but, have you ever but the twist, the what? like the M Night Shyamalan of it all is that I've always had forks, but I've never bought forks. But then forks disappear. Have you bought silverware? No, but I've always had what? it. I don't understand. How do you not understand? How have you never bought silverware? I'm just I'm it, listen to the premise. Some things just exist no. and in life and you just have them. No, this is your. And they don't come from anywhere. This is your male privilege coming out. <laughs> Not recognizing no. that your mom always bought no. them and then girls my always mom. bought them. No, no, no. It wasn't my mother. I mean, I'm sure she had forks well, and bought up. forks growing up. Yes. But then at some point I moved out into an apartment where I certainly did not buy forks for it, but I had forks. But and then I moved into them? another. I don't know. This is the question that I'm this. This. How have I gone this far in life without ever buying forks? Also, why do we only have three forks? Well, in our relationship in the last five, six years, I've always bought the silverware. You're buying silverware? How else are we supposed to have it? It doesn't just appear like you think. People purchase it. I'm not saying that it does, but it does. Well, I I don't know who was buying it in between the time where you lived with your mother as a child until you met me. I'm talking about, I'm, I'm, in a, I'm in LA, I'm in a studio apartment. There is a Murphy bed that folds out of the yeah, wall. Yeah, that apartment. And I have forks. You did have forks at that apartment. I did, yeah. Huh. I don't know, love. I, I don't think anyone gave them to me. I think they were just, they, did they come with the apartment? I doubt that. How did you get forks? Don't know. Well, I'm actually- How does one? I'm, I'm really glad you brought this up because- um, the fork situation is really bothering me. This is not the first time I've had to go rogue and buy forks. Like I buy silverware sets. What do you mean go like, rogue? Like buy forks just alone, not with spoons and knives oh, and the whole set. Oh, okay. This got is it, the got second it. time in the last few years where I've had to buy forks, mm-hmm. but just the forks. Well, that was my relax. Forks, where do they come from? Where do they but go? The, but my question is, I'm glad you brought this up because my question is to the listener, the viewer, does this happen to everyone? Is this just our house? Because that doesn't seem very common. Like for amongst the like girly girl community, the girls who wear, you know, hair ties and bobby pins and whatnot, we all know that like bobby pins, hair ties, they just disappear. It's what happens, socks. They disappear. It just happens. No one knows where these things go. These yeah. are things, they're items in the world that just disappear. And everyone's like, I don't know where that goes. Socks, bobby pins, hair ties. Those are the things that I know of. And ha, but, ha, ha. Yes. but also not a ha ha. I'm saying that there are things that this happens to you. And forks though is something common in our family that go missing, but just the forks. 
Why? And that is that a common thing? Like, I need to know from our listeners, like, if they lose forks. Well, I'll say, I, I had a thought. The ha 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 was because a woman commented on my socks the other day, and it was it was because my socks were mismatching. Mm-hmm. And a and a woman, I was like waiting for a prescription at, at CVS, and she was like, "Your socks don't match." Someone called you out for a strange, an older a woman, yeah. And I was like, "Yes." I have to fill in now a joke about how socks, you know, they disappear and we laughed and it was, I mean, it was nice, but mm-hmm. it was strange that she like, she saw them and she had to comment that my socks, which were two like kind of crew socks, but that had colored stripes, but mm-hmm. they didn't match. Mm-hmm. And I certainly didn't think any, I was like, I can get away with this. No one's going to call me out and see yeah. yes. And then they did. And I felt extremely insecure and had to make the joke about, yes, socks, where, where do they go? So I, I see your point there about socks and I don't know much about hair ties or bobby pins because I, I don't use those, but I assume they disappear because you told me and I believe you. Um, as far as forks, I had a thought while you were talking, not that I wasn't listening, but I was also thinking at the same time. As most people do. As you were talking. And if I'm going to throw out a utensil mm-hmm. because I'm like cleaning up and there's like a gross food situation. Mm-hmm. I'm going to throw out a fork. Wait, time out. But I'm not going to throw out a spoon or a knife. What? You? Why are you, you laughing? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> what? 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 I have been sitting here <laughs> for years going, why are the forks disappearing in our home? And you're what? going, I don't know where are they going. And just now. On, I haven't allegedly, on, on allegedly, camera, I haven't admitted to on anything. On camera, you admit to me you've allegedly, been throwing away forks that you don't want to clean? Allegedly, I'm saying like if if there was a food situation, so we're you're talking. Throwing no, them away. no, no. Listen, we're talking like <laughs> like two day old refried beans, or, or I don't know. It's in there, and it's a paper plate situation. <laughs> and you're like, I can get rid of the whole thing in seconds, or I can take ten to fifteen minutes to wash this fork. Where when I know that forks come from the atmosphere and just appear, <laughs> so I will just I will just let I cannot. I'll throw out a fork. I'll throw you out <laughs> with the trash and the forks. You have been letting me believe that these things are disappearing into the abyss, and you've been throwing them away when they're too dirty. That's the one you. T- I'm just saying. Well, no, I wasn't allegedly. I'm just saying. Oh like, my God, if you're gonna throw out a utensil, which I'm sure you have in your day, I mean, like when you've been like cleaning up, and like, well, I'll just throw this one out because it's like I don't it's think too that far I have, gone. If I have it, you're not gonna throw out a knife. An accident. A knife will poke through the trash bag. A spoon. Yeah, it's I'm not like gonna throw any of this. Easier away. to clean, but like a fork with the grooves, you're like, I'll with just throw grooves, it out. With the grooves, a fork is sharp. First of all, it's gonna poke through faster than a knife would, in my opinion. What? A butter knife? Not a butter. I'm well, who threw away a steak knife? No one's <laughs> <Nobody>. doing this. <laughs> Wait, time out. I have so many questions. But no, I've never thrown away. I know that there have been a couple times in my life that I feel like I can pinpoint exactly where I threw away accidentally, like an actual metal or silverware, you know, like fork or spoon, and been like, ah. Yeah. And then had to make the decision: do I dig this out or not? And it depends right. on how gross the trash is. But maybe this is stemming from. I have vivid memories of um, eating big family dinners at my grandma's house. Okay. And she would wash the plastic silverware and keep it. Like we weren't, we wouldn't even throw that away. Well, that's, I mean, that's good for the, um, good for her. Yeah, of course. That's great. She's like, save that ish. She's like, no way. I had a friend uh, who would wash out Ziploc baggies. Like every Ziploc baggie. Yeah, save the earth. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Good for, yeah. Um, But you're throwing away full on silverware. Allegedly, I think allegedly. Well, and, and I think I think it that then maybe that's how people end up with them because like the, it's fine. It's gonna find a home. No, people, it's not in the because trash. Because people don't buy forks; they're just there. Okay. So if I throw one out, maybe that's how some other I wonder what person would gets one. Like this is so you know I think you're right, and I think that they do just appear. So I feel like maybe I'll just stop buying them, and we'll just see what happens. Like because they just appear. There's a lot of things I could do that with, maybe. Passive aggression. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Okay, well, that was very good. Relax. I'm excited to see what the comments say about that. If um, Anyway. I'm- look in your drawer, right? Listener, look in your drawer. Look at your, your, you know, utensil drawer. Mm-hmm. And what's the ratio? What's the ratio? What's the ratio? And if you're missing forks, talk to your husband. He might be throwing them away. I didn't. Uh, I mean... 
Allegedly. 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 Okay, my relax. I have, relax. I have so many relaxes. I don't even know which one to pick. I got more. I had to pick. I, had I to have pick so that many. Fork one. I have so many. I had to pick the fork one. Like this is very hard for me to figure out which one to do. Okay, go for it. Uh, I'm gonna do like the like chillest one of all of them because other ones I might get really passionate yeah, we need to about. Tone, we need to tone it down tone a it bit down because that, that was like combo. pretty intense. Yeah. Okay, so I you're not gonna believe it, but I came across a TikTok, and this TikTok. You on TikTok? Um, I'm not on TikTok, but I watch TikToks. Okay. And uh, this is this guy who's like, hey, so this is so crazy. It's something so crazy to admit. I don't remember how I worded it, but he was like, so shoes, you know, and speaking of shoes, you're wearing this beautiful new pair of shoes. He's like growing up. I always called like shoes. If it wasn't like a boot or a sandal, like it was a tennis shoe, you know, like sneakers are tennis shoes. Like you call them tennis shoes. Yeah. Okay. And he's like, I didn't, you know, I never even realized until I became an adult. Like that's not, wait, they're not tennis shoes. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Who's not calling them tennis shoes? Me. What are you saying? I've never called a single pair of sneakers. I'm assuming these are like, when you say tennis shoe, you're referring to like a sneaker? Like a shoe with laces. Yeah. I've never called it a tennis shoe in my life, not once in any conversation. What? Whether it's written, aloud. I've never said to anyone, like, let me, never said, let me get my tennis shoes or I'll need my tennis shoes for this or let me pack my tennis shoes. No, sneakers. I've, I've never. I've never called I've, them sneakers. I mean, I know what sneakers you, you are. You call them tennis shoes? Always. My whole life. All of them. It's what the, are it's you, the blanket British term. royalty? Like, that's the weirdest thing I've ever heard like in my life. It's like the blanket term for, for shoes what? with for laces. People that play... but it's not a boot. If it's not a heel, if it's not a sandal, like, it's a sneaker. Or it's sneakers, which is a tennis shoe. Like, I always call it tennis shoes. Get your tennis shoes, your tennies. Like I'd always call them I, that. Here's the and thing. This t- this, I don't believe you. I swear to God. And I saw this guy on this TikTok being like, I'm an adult. And I just now found out that people don't call them like tennis shoes. And I was like, whoa, what are you talking about? People don't call them tennis shoes. I never have once in my life. But you know, people do. I've heard the term like in like sitcoms, but I didn't think it was like a real thing people did. I just want to know. Like I had, I had uh, sneakers, mm-hmm. basketball shoes. Cleats. Those are all the same. Skate well, sh- cleats aren't. But skate shoes. What's a skate shoe? Was shoes that I would skateboard in. Yeah, but like the blanket term for all of them would be like sneaker. Yeah, I call sneakers tennis shoes. That's weird. I'm. I'm. Now I just need to know if this is a regional thing. Like, I'm from California. Well, like you're calling from soda pop. The East Coast. Like you're from like Jersey and Connecticut. Like, yeah, like pop. Like people call soda pop. You know, what do you stuff call like that. It? Soda. Yeah, soda. Or like. I honestly, a lot of my childhood called it all. It was all Coke. You just said every, <laughs> just every soda was Coke. Coke. <laughs> um, but yeah, soda. I never called anything What do pop. you call um, the colorful things that you put on ice cream? Sprinkles? Yeah. Some people call them what? shots. No one calls them shots. Uh, what do you call a- Wait, you need to rewind. But who calls them something? shots? But isn't there something? I don't know, not me. I call them sprinkles Who's, too. But, but who? Who has? Who have you heard to call them shots? I don't know. Shots? I think that's a thing. That's, that's just a thing. I don't- is it? I'm like shocked by that. I've never heard that yeah, in my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, I need to look this up because I have I feel more. Like, I have more. Okay, well, let me hear it. Tell me more. What do you call like a foot long sandwich? A foot long sandwich? A subway sandwich? So you call it a subway sandwich, not a Quizno sandwich? No, not a Quizno. You I call, call them all. Well, you I call think, it a sub sandwich. No, I, I think I'm the only, I'm going to be alone on this one. No one's going to, I call them all subway sandwiches because I think that's the only <laughs> place I ever saw a foot long sandwich in my whole but life. But you've never, but you never heard of like grinder or hoagie. Absolutely not. No, no. Hoagie. Okay. No. Wait, did you say, wait, okay. Shots. I'm still on this shots thing. Okay. Not me. I didn't say it, but I know it's a thing. Okay. In Connecticut. Yeah. Uh, Shots is a specific term for sprinkles. So it's only in Connecticut. I've never heard that. You've never heard that ever. Never in my yeah. life until the second. I thought you were joking with me. No. Wow. I'm, I moved there in, from New Jersey in third grade and everyone was like, you want shots on your ice cream? And I was like, huh? hell yeah. You know, it's something that I was called out for years ago, um, being a Californian who didn't see snow until I was an adult um, in person. Mm-hmm real snow, like falling snow from the sky. Um, I assume that's what you meant. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean like I've I seen didn't, snow. I didn't think like, oh, she's never seen fake snow her no, whole life. I mean, like I'd seen, I'd seen the snow when I was a younger girl, but like it had already fallen onto the ground of our mountains. And it was like dirty by the time I got to it. And like pretty much mostly never melted. Seen snowing. I'd never seen snowing snow, like falling in from precip- the sky. In a precipitative. Until I was 17 or 18. 
So anyway, because I'm from California, the and legal age my, to see snowfall. Yeah, yeah. My snow experience is bad. I don't, I, I was called out for saying like, I'm going to the snow and that's wrong. I guess like that's people what, don't say that. Would, like you don't say the say? snow. I don't know. Like take, it's not I'm a location. To... Like people were calling me out. They're like, it's not a location. You're not going to the snow. You're going outside and there's snow. Or like, I don't even remember what they said you're supposed to say. I don't get but it. But saying like, I'm going to the snow is wrong. Well, it's, well, it's, it's not like it's saying like 101 the or the I'm going outside the in the snow. Is that not right? I still don't even feel like I understand. The snow versus just going to snow? Yeah, that's what I said. I was like, wait, is this just mean, I'm going to it's snow? It's not like the highway thing that California people have where they call their freeways the, whereas on the East Coast, we don't say that. But I guess you also don't like say you're going to the snow. Like when it's snowing, it's just snowing. Whereas like I have to go somewhere to get to snow. Yeah. But when you're getting on the freeway, like you have to say the, as opposed to like. The 101. Say, yeah. The 405. Yeah. As yeah. opposed to like 95. Yeah. No, no, no. 15. We say the first here in Cali, at least for, uh, for my parts. Yeah. Shots. They Sprinkles are called shots. Well, that's fascinating to me. And the sneakers and the tennis Shout shoes. Shout out are- to Dip Top. Soft serve ice cream on the post road in Orange, Connecticut. Wow. My goodness. Um, can I tell you another relax I have? Is that sure. okay? Yeah. I have, cause I have so many. Okay. The next one, and it's not going to be, okay. Don't, don't forget. Know. I have a ghost story. I know you do, but this is really important. Okay. Okay. I feel like we've talked a lot about sleep on this podcast and like our lack of it, you know? And so. So let's say the word again. Sleep. Sleep. Yeah. You don't yeah, know what that is. I don't, I don't know either. what that is. So we've, I think we've talked about sleep, our lack of sleep, but certainly I don't know that we've ever talked about like sleep in general, general, just like needs to relax. Like I don't like, I don't like it. I don't like going to sleep. I don't like that. We have to do it. I don't really enjoy sleeping. I pretty much have nightmares every single night anyway. Like it's not enjoyable for me. I hate, I never get enough of it. So I never feel good afterwards. And also just the concept of sleep makes literally no sense. Like you have to lay down and close your eyes and you have to basically go into like a light coma Mm -hmm. and it doesn't count if you just lay there with your eyes closed. Like you literally have to be fully comaed. Yeah. I mean, have you seen your brain and like all the things it's kicking but on? But that doesn't like, even make any sense. What, what is sleep even? You like, have to, do you have it? to charge your phone? Yeah, of course. I get the idea gas of gas like, in your car course, or charge your car. This is how we explain it to our children, love. But like, I'm saying like for real, like human adult brains, like we're not talking to our kids right now. We're talking to me, Uh huh. which I'm dumber than my kids. So it might be even harder to explain sure. this. Um, but like, what the heck is sleep? Why, why is sleep? What is it? How is it like, oh, you have to go into like a tiny little coma in order to function? You, that's weird. But that's not, but you, how does that happen? You sleep, how does your body You don't want like to go sleep at night, but like, but like uh, a lot of times, like you, you want to sleep. Like you're like, let me sleep. I'm going to sleep. Why won't they, um, why won't they let me sleep? Because I, I want to Stop sleep. Stop snoring. I want to go to sleep. You know why I want to sleep? I've never said it to you, first of all, but I also. You enjoy my snoring. I've, I. I don't like that I have to sleep, but it is a fact of humanity that you have to sleep. You're like that though. Like certain human functions, you're like, you're like, I don't like them, but I just have to do them. Going pee, human. annoying. I right, don't yeah. have to do it. Eating most of the time. Like I don't, I'm not interested. I am. I mean, I don't, I'm not going to hear and like hype up sleep because I have a hard time with it too. And I've but been what, having the weirdest dreams me. lately. But the explain, weirdest. I know, I know, but explain sleep. What is it? What is it? How does that happen? What is it? Well, I'm not, a, I mean, I'm not a scientist, but it's, you. What is sleep? It just, the, you're your, just, you're your like not needs, conscious. Yeah. And your body needs a certain amount of energy but why to do you like have to be not conscious function to get and That's maintain. Weird. I mean, there's, there's like a central nervous system and there's organs and like, they can't just go, go forever without like fatigue. And so it's, it's sleep is rest. Yeah. But that's not explaining to me. It's like, you're literally going into like a. You're, a you're not state? conscious. Yeah, no, And I then know. your brain goes and makes up all these your weird stories. A, your brain's an organ too. It's got to rest too. Yeah. I know, but like you, you, your arm hurts you, and it needs to quote unquote rest. You put it in a sling. Like, you know, it's like you got to rest this. But it doesn't need to go into a coma. Why do I have to go into a coma? Like what is sleep? Sleep is so weird. I think I don't understand. Like, I what don't, even is I don't, sleep? I'm not arguing that you do understand, um, but it, it, I thought you'd be on the same page with I, me. Well, no, because well, I, I, I hate it because I have, well, I mean, I have like- You understand it. I'm like battling insomnia right now. I have, to pretend, just, but, I have to pretend to be asleep to go to sleep. 
Right. A lot of times for me, I'll just, I'll lay there with my eyes closed, pretending I'm asleep and then get back up and be like, well, that was some good rest. But then knowing full well that I didn't sleep and that happens a lot. Like I'll wake up a lot in the night and just lay there for an hour being like, this is pretend sleep. I'm pretending to sleep so that I don't feel like, like I can trick myself into not feeling like poop but tomorrow. Why doesn't pretend sleep recharge you like real sleep? Why? Because your, your body's not moving. Because, because I your mean, your eyes are closed. Because the medulla oblongata connected to your central nerve. Who is that? Because because it's all got to because it's because it has to rest. It's like um, that's not an answer. You're playing you're playing your your PS five love. What is and the difference? sometimes you just, you got to turn it off. What what is the difference between and you, sometimes, what is the difference? What's, what's the number one thing they say when when computers stop working? They say, "Did you try turning it off and on again?" Sure, love. So if you're in, so that's if you that's a crazy not, you're day and it's not question. working, like turn it off, turn it on. Again. That's not you're not answering my question. What is the difference? Is there a question? Yes. What is the difference between laying for an hour with my eyes closed, not moving, taking deep breaths, and resting, and being asleep fully for an hour? Why is one effective and recharging and the other Damn one is it. not? This would be, um, we're recording at night right now, but this would be the perfect time to call I know, my I dad. I want to call your dad so and bad. And be like, yeah, that, cause that's because that's because. Uh, I don't understand. I know you don't. Because what? I can't help you. <sighs> it's driving me nuts. That's not what this podcast is. This podcast is not for me to help you with scientific <sighs> questions. Oh if you want, you can Google it. Whatever, whatever, Firefox. The comments it. are gonna go crazy to call me stupid. I can't wait. What? Why? Because I don't. I mean, I, what do you want me to tell you? Like, because it's because that's make not any sense. Because that's not like um um that's not like off and on. That's like because it's that's not like, like it's you're just it's like dormant. But also, it's not like my brain is no. My brain isn't dormant. My brain is not uh, the off power Certainly button. not. It is almost. It's way worse than when I'm awake because it is the most vivid, intense bizarre nightmares. I wake up sweating or crying most days. So like my brain's not just like off, like it's going, it's going hard. So my brain doesn't like turn off, you know, when you, oh, when you're asleep. When I'm asleep. When you're, when you're, yeah. So what is the difference? Anyway, I have more relaxes that I want to talk about, but first Same. I think we should read some comments because I haven't done that in a few weeks. Oh, please. And yeah. There's a lot of, there was a lot of wonderful comments. So my, always my favorite part. Yes. Keep the comments coming. They literally make me so happy. I love yeah. them. They're so, they make me laugh. Like I was, uh, anyway, here we go. Um, okay. So last week we talked about, about penguins. We talked about pigeons, a lot of bird talk. Yeah. A lot of bird talk last week. That's I was right. talking about how penguins propose uh, the male penguins proposed to the female penguins with a rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one of the top comments says, uh, if carrot doesn't propose to clean with a rock next week, I will lose it. So I'm just saying like, I'm waiting, like I've been waiting and I just don't know why I haven't done it yet, but what I, what I did, waiting. you proposed with a rock today. Well, we're already on the we, episode. I mean, I did when I first, when I first proposed to you, I did. Yes, I know. But like, how about again? No, but I'm saying, but I literally just had rocks. Like they weren't even in rings yet. I know, and it I was like, it. and it was just, it was, so, it was just, so I mean, so is that what you would call a dime? Like a dime, a rock? I mean, they, yeah, they, they call it, it a is rock. a rock, isn't it? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. know. You're the geologist. I don't, I'm certainly not, but I do love a rock. Come on. Don't um, be modest. And I just wanted to say, I agree with uh, Monica said, uh, very distracted by Eric's biceps and biceps and got a lot of likes. And you know what? I agree. I'm often very distracted by Eric's biceps. We went to uh, a local fair today, local carnival, if you will. And I was just like staring at him. I was like, how are you that cute? Like, how is like, I oftentimes will like look at you in public places and be like, man, he is the most attractive person ever in the world. And like, certainly here. Uh, I think that about you all the time. That's not true. And I'm always I like, why was... would he want to like, like look me compared to him. It's like such an odd matching. That's, like you're so true. cute. But yeah, his biceps are looking pretty good these days and it's all days. Weird, so. Anyway, I started to make you uncomfortable, but I just wanted to say, I agree with you. Um, okay. Most of the comments were about the sounds that I was discussing last uh, week, because I was talking about how my, one of my favorite sounds in the whole world is when you go to a fabric store or craft store and you buy fabric and they have to cut it the certain yardage that you want. And that sound of the really good craft scissors or fabric scissors, like a crunchy cut, cutting crunchy crunch cut crunch yeah, of yeah. the fabric on that little metal bar yeah. that like, like, Oh, it's just so good. And I didn't know if anyone would relate. And there were so many comments. Thank you for validating well, that must be me. So, yeah. So validating. It was just for you. so glorious yeah. to read all these 
comments, there's so many good comments about like people loving that sound. Um, let me hear them. But then there's a lot of people telling me oh. some of their favorite sounds. Oh, good. What did you say? Living room? So let me hear them. Oh, I thought you said living room. But I'm sure they're just like, I love that sound too. No, no, there's lots of different, um, yeah. there's, uh, I'm, they're not all that. There's like people telling me their favorite sounds and I agree oh, with them all. Okay. And I'm curious if you do as well. Okay. Or if you're just not a sound guy. Um, Mikey said, Wow. You just brought back a huge sense memory for me. I work at a fabric. I worked at a fabric store for six years as a teen, and I knew what you were going to say before you said it. The sound of cutting fabric on the table is a very good sound, and being the cutter takes it up a level. Whoa! Thanks for that one. Cheers. So he was a cutter. Yeah, that's like that. I'm. Oh my god! I just had a memory unlocked. I used to your face. That is so weird. I haven't thought of, I don't, I don't even know how I talked about this last week and I didn't even remember uh -huh. this until right now. I used to go to the fabric store all the time with my mom. Cause my mom sewed a lot of my clothes when I was a little girl. She'd let me pick out the fabric. I loved it. She let me pick up fabric, pick out the like design or whatever. And then what's it called? The, um, oh, the pattern, the pattern. pattern. And then she would sew it for me. And it was like my favorite thing in the world. And I love picking out the buttons and all stuff. And you go and you get them to cut it. And that's why I that's, love it. It's like wow, tied wow. to like all these great yeah. memories. And it's also a really great sound, mm -hmm. but I loved the sound so much that I would try to recreate it at home. And I would get like, cause my what? mom had so much fabric cause she sewed all the time. Uh -huh. Like I would cut fabric on her like little, she had this like board that she would open up to like put the patterns on and cut fabric on when she was sewing for me. And I would, I loved cutting fabric on that thing to, for that sound. It's such a good sound. This feels like a scene from a movie. There should be a scene in a movie where like a young, oh, like it's, it's so like a good. flashback and it's a young girl and it's like that sound. And it like then informs something about like her fashion our, career. Pr our protagonist <laughs> in her fashion career or whatever. I don't know. Could don't be know. Long, could go, could, you could go lots of ways with that. I don't know. But uh, it's very cinematic, like what you're describing. I like it. Yeah, there's, I, it's it's great. But I, I don't want to just talk about, I could talk about it for a long time, but I'm not going to. You I'm, did last week, so you got that I, out. I got it out, so I'm going to read the other ones. Okay. okay, so here's some of the other sounds that people liked. Okay, this one's great. Um, Wanna Be Angel said, I love the sound of, I love this word that she quote. She said, thwonky. Like and quoted it, thwonky computer keyboards because I know exactly what you're oh, talking about. Yeah, so satisfying. Thwonky isn't yeah. that the perfect word to describe spell those it. old. Just spell it for us. T H W O K Y. Yeah, I love the sound of thwonky or thwoki. Thw I was thinking thwonky, but I guess she didn't put an N in it. Thwok thwoki. I like thwonky better, honestly. Sorry. <laughs> thwonky computer keyboards. Uh, so we're talking like a Dell. We're talking like an old key, old. like a keyboard keyboard for like a Dell. The one that was like the family computer in the house. Yeah. Like in the family 80s, Family computer 90s. keyboard. In the 90s. There was- um, In the 90s. No, in the so early 2000s. Good. And just like you press it, nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. That, click. Oh, that, yeah, I that, wouldn't like, buy one the just to hear it. between the press and the click, that uh, thwonk. The we're thwonk. Talking, yeah. The dope. thwonky. Yeah, great I thwonk. need one. That's a glorious bring it, sound. Bring, yeah, um, bring it back. There's also a certain mechanical pencil with ridges that I would run back and forth against a school desk as a kid and it made a glorious noise. I don't know what that one is, but... I support your love of well, it. No, mechanic, like the clicky pencil. And they were, it was, it wasn't round. It was like hex. This, yeah, it had the, no, it had ridges. No, it had like, it was round, but it had like ridges. Right. The, so that this person is just twirling it against the desk. I don't I know. I get that. That's fine. It's fine. It's very niche, know. but like, uh, that might be an only you thing. Yeah. I don't, maybe, maybe not. This one's good. But I get Ready? it. Sierra said, when you're driving slowly in gravel with the windows down in a car, oh my gosh, that crunchy sound is crazy. Do you know what I'm that is good when you're I, driving no, have, slowly well, on gravel? Yeah, but I oh. haven't I haven't done this, um, but I'm going to do it now, and I'm going to recognize it now. So you roll the windows down, and you and you yes. How do you, oh I can't believe you've never experienced yeah driving. I've on never gravel. seen you roll windows down in a car unless we were in a McDonald's drive through. So I don't know what you like. You know when you like it's not like I like drive around with my windows. It's like when you're driving slow on a really gravelly, a really rocky, gravelly, road. gravelly like. Yeah, like, but you know, it's like, oh, I don't know where I am. You like roll down the windows, like, look, I don't know. I feel like you, for some reason, my windows have been down. So you scenarios. have to be lost on a gravel road. Kind of, yeah. And so lost that you're like, I need to roll down the windows because I'm like very lost. And I need to like, kind of have this glass between me and like the world. I don't know. It's just and so then, I know and exactly then you'll what you're get talking this about. Sound. So again, super niche. 
But I know exactly what she's talking about. Yeah. Love it. Sound. That's great. And good for her, for this person. This one was interesting. Okay. It's not one of my favorite sounds, but I do appreciate the sound. I think I just never like appreciated it enough. And now I think I will. Uh-huh. Alana said, Ooh, I have a sound. I love the sound of ice cracking in a warm drink. You know, when I like big ice cubes, good like yeah, the yeah, second yeah. they get into a drink and they like make those crackly crack sounds. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. a good sound. That's well, do you do that? Is that something you do? I put ice in drinks. Have you lost your mind? No, in a hot drink. Well, it works in any kind of drink, but for like me, in- for me, what that, what that triggered was, was seeing when I would put, I would, if I made a hot soup, but it was like, oh, I, yes. but I wanted uh-huh. it now. So if I'm like sick and made chicken noodle soup mm-hmm. and I put like one, one, two, yeah. at the most ice cubes in it and it instantly cracks and makes yeah. that sound. Very, so that's very what I thought. Of. But yeah. I'm not like making hot drinks and putting ice in them. I don't think. Yeah. But uh, I get that. Um, that's a good one. Um, Roxy said, I love the sound of those videos of people cutting kinetic sand. Don't know what you're talking about, but I'm definitely going to look that up. And then she said, also, I'm working late because I'm a singer. Tickles my brain. And me too. I'm obsessed. I sing it all the time. Uh, you're looking at me like you don't know what I'm talking about. And I could mm. start to cry right now on the spot. I'm working late because I'm a singer. Are you, you don't know what that, mm. I'm going to. Are you being serious? You don't, you don't know it. I don't know. I don't, I don't you don't know, know it. it. Sabrina Carpenter. I don't know what you're talking about. What? Okay. I'm, you haven't heard the song Espresso? No. What? Espresso? Oh, first of all. No. I love the sound of Espresso. Espresso. Okay. It's a tap. song by Sabrina Carpenter. It's so great. And there's this one line she in the song. She has a song called Espresso? There's yeah, a song called Espresso. It's incredible. It's so good. And there's one line in it where she sings, I'm working late because I'm a singer. And it just, there's something about it that is so just glorious to the ear. I've seen it nonstop. She's telling like a story. How have you not heard me singing it around the house? She's like, she's like telling a story about a, herself or she is the espresso. She's like, you got that me espresso. You can't sleep because you can't stop thinking about me. You're obsessed with me. It's I like keeping that. You oh, up. that's good you imagery. Got that that's me good. espresso. That's get that. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. I'm going to show you. It's the second this we're done. But, I'm but showing you. She's working late because she's a singer. So like they, the obviously way, they perform it's just, later in the evening. Yeah, but it's just like the way that she sings it is just. It's like earwormy. So, it's earwormy and it's like campy. I don't know. It's just cute and like perfect. It's just like perfect. Oh, and good for her. Yeah. Anyway, it's really great. Um, so you related to that. Yeah, you got. Yeah, because yeah, it's incredible. Got it. Um, here's another one. Okay. Sorry. There's so many, it was hard to pick, but this is the last sound that I'm going to mention. Um, Johnny said another favorite sound or feeling is, uh, the little metal ball when shaking a can of spray paint. Good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Right. I thought you might relate to that one more because like you do spray paint stuff more than I do. Yeah. I mean, so I've spray painted some things. Yeah. But it is a glorious sound and feeling, right? The like artist, the little yeah. the little dinky dinkies of the Yeah, it's metal. satisfying. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for your comments. They're wonderful. And they all that's of those a, yeah, made me like sound. very, very happy and excited. Like I loved I loved hearing about all the different sounds. Did you ever spray paint anything? You ever tag anything? I've spray painted like craft things. No, I mean, did you ever like would you ever like tag? Tag? Yeah. Graffiti? Yeah, 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 yeah. What? No. Lovey. That wasn't a thing for you and your friends when you were like in middle school? That is a literal crime. No, but I'm just saying you didn't have like paint markers and like come up with like a cool like. Did you? Ta- no. Wait, did you really tag things? What? No, I never did that on anything. <gasps> oh I think, gosh. I think we all, I think it was like a, it was. That's we, awful. Off? Why? What do you mean? What? What? Do you really did spray paints? Like what? Like buildings? Not like, no, like, no, we're, no, we're just where you would, where we, it just seemed like it was where you would do it. You know, what does that mean? Like what locations, <sighs> you know, like under a under bridge, a bridge? Under you a, did. No, I'm not saying I did, but I'm just saying I didn't, but I'm just saying like people, I never, we, we, you what know, do we, you do? We, we, I don't know. Do you, you do know, like, initials? Did, like, you know, like the S, like the S that you would, oh, like the people, Stussy, the Stussy S, like, yeah, like that kind of a thing. Isn't like, that what we, it was? Stussy? Sh- well, Stussy, I don't know. That was, I don't know. It's a thing, but like the S, the, S, that you the, make the, the, the three yeah. lines, and then the yeah. Thing. So like, um, wait, was that Stussy? 
Why am I thinking Suzuki? But Suzuki is a piano book. It's like how no, I learned Suzuki, to piano. Suzuki, I, th- I think you're thinking Suzuki. It's a, it's like a automotive. It's like a car thing. And but yes, Suzuki is also like a piano book that uh, I had the. That's how I learned to play piano. Was a book that Suzuki. Maybe something. they make pianos. But now I'm thinking of Suzuki's, which are delicious. They're at oh, the you're restaurant about a pizza BJ's. Cookie? Yeah, yeah. Um, which no. is a horrible name for a restaurant, by the way. I can't believe they called that BJ's Brewery. Why? Just BJ's? Like, come on. What do you mean? Why? You're the one I'm, with the dirty mind here. Like, not. No, I'm not. Me. I'm just saying it's great marketing. I don't know. Like, well, I don't know what it stands for. I would assume it's like someone's initials for their name, or something. I don't think they meant Whose for it to name sound. Is BJ? And tell me what what BJ stands for. It, like, I mean, for <laughs> <laughs> as far as names go, I'm like Bruce Jerry. Yes, like Bruce I'm Bruce Jerry. I'm very confident that. <laughs> they did not call that restaurant BJ's because of the sexual like implications. Give me, give me three BJ names. Well, before no, no, it was like a, it was like a go kind of a thing. Like you gotta like yeah. Before she like transitioned, top- before she transitioned, Bruce Jenner. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Um, but obviously she's. Does Caitlin anyone call now. her BJ? I don't think so because her name is Caitlin now, but oh, like, right. <laughs> um, and I don't know that she ever was called that okay. then. I don't uh-huh. know her nicknames from the past, uh-huh. but like Bruce Jenner, that's BJ. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know any other people, but I don't know a lot of people. I had a friend named BJ when I was, uh, so wait, wait, okay. when I was, well, now I'm thinking about it when I was in like, uh, elementary school, but I think it's uh, Brian. Well, anyway, I don't. Why were we talking about bazooki? What were we talking about? What was, what was going on? What was going on back in like the the eighties where people were like, well, we, we can name him Brian James and then we can call him BJ. Yeah, maybe they just didn't think about the like the, the other what? the other thing that that I don't know what you're initial talking stands about. for. Wait, why were we talking about BJ's and Pazuki's? Call him BJ or B. I was talking about Suzuki. Su, su, what was the word? Suzuki. Suzuki. And then the the S that you did. Sabrina. Oh, Sabrina no, Carpenter. No, because you did graffiti. So you, what would you graffiti? You just did this, this, the Scientists S? Scientists will study this episode and for mental illness purposes. <laughs> <laughs> but what, did you put like your name? Like a wiener? Like what are you no, graffiti? No, I'm just saying like we would like, we just, no, it's like being notebooks. It would be like, we were like trying to come you up with like a cool. in a notebook? No, we would be like trying to come up with like a tag, like a name, like a, like a cool like graffiti. A, like a gang? Like a. No, not like a, what? No, like like if we had like a a name, like like you know what I mean, and like and we would tag like what would that be? Like what would your graffiti name be? Like because it wouldn't, I wouldn't be like have clean, one. I would never in a BJ. billion years do that because I would be so afraid of the. This law. is what we did in like cl- we we're sitting there and we we're like it's, I need to know is this a class and we we're like we we're just like coming up with like tag yeah tag names. I was very sheltered. And, you know, as we all know by now, and there have been times where I've like been, my mind has been blown by like how different our, you know, high school, junior high, whatever childhood experiences were just because I was, I was very sheltered. So I'm wondering if this is one of those times where it's like, no, everyone did this coin. Like you are being kind of ridiculous. No, I'm telling you, there was like a solid two years of my life that was like, we found lighters. What can we do with these lighters? And mm. how should we write our name with paint markers that looks cool? Don't most cool. serial killers like do that? Is that like a no? I think that's, that's uh, arson? has something to do with like harming animals. But like, yeah. But no. it starts with arson, and then it goes to that, and then it goes to like. Oh. That's what I always. Well, I mean, have I don't seen know. in these crime documentaries. Yeah, I mean, it didn't elevate to that level for me. Yours goes lighters to graffiti. Yeah. To. To what? Acting. <laughs> 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 um, I just, so did you, but you, I just want to know what you would tag. Like you're, you had, so did you guys have a name, a tag name? I can't remember what it was, but I remember like you wanting, remember? like thinking, wanting to write like that and cool like that. But then like, and you would write it on like a, a th- um, I'm trying to think of anything I've ever spray painted. Oh, that's, um, so I can't believe, I feel so bad for the, whoever had to clean that, that up. No, I would never, I would never like on like a business or like a, like a, like a, it's anyone's like property. No, like, well, like, like under that. a bridge, like someone, like at some point I'm sure had to clean that up. Right. Yeah. Did you ever, did you ever, um, do that thing that people do where they like drive around and they hit, um, mailboxes with baseball bats? You the are not being serious. 
You've never done that, have you? No, I'm asking, like, did you ever do that? Of course I didn't. Of course not. Are you not. serious? Oh, Who crazy. actually does that? I'd get, well, I'm just saying it's, well, it's, like a, it's a, again, going back to like cinematic, like kind of like childhood things, like. Did gra- you do that? Graffiti and like hitting things. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic or not. Did I? know? You promise? Did you? Did you do that? No, I didn't do that. That's illegal too. You can't do that. Don't do these things. I'm scared. Well, no, I'm just, I, well, I just, I don't think people still, I don't think it's people, I hopefully they, they don't, but I just, I wonder if, I don't know, like this, I don't know. I grew up in like the woods. So you did do this. I'm not saying I did it. Oh I'm no. Say, what? Love I was saying like, we grew up in the woods and like we're. You are a bad boy. <laughs> you did some bad things. Hello. Sabrina Carpenter. Karma. Are you just joking? Jojo Siwa. Oh. <laughs> Come Sorry. on. Yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway. Well, you um, didn't say girl. Like I, I know. Well, yeah, because so that's you're, why I didn't you're not saying the right lyrics. But I, I have this vivid memory about graffiti and then we'll move on from this. Um, but I have this vivid mem- memory about it because there was, whenever I'd see graffiti, I was taught, you know, obviously that's very bad and it's, you know, tagging and graffiti. It mm-hmm. was like something really, really awful that people do. It's, it's illegal. It's bad. You don't do that. And there were oftentimes I would see, R C or Rock Creek tagged in like nearby where I grew up. And there was a a gang, I guess, called Rock Creek, the Rock Creek gang. And I'm sure it was just a bunch of like preteen boys or like mm-hmm. teenage boys or something. But in my head, it was like, you know, adult men, like scary would kidnap me gang. Like I thought it was like mm-hmm. so bad. And <laughs> so I remember this one day uh-huh. I went outside and there was a tree, uh, right out, like on the, on the sidewalk of my front yard and it had on it spray painted R C. And I was like, <gasps> yeah, it's not, and quite... I remember thinking like, Oh my God. Yeah. And it was like, I would, I, I was devastated. I was like, Oh my God, the gang was near Tagged my house. And there, I was so, yeah. I remember like praying about it. I was so sad, but you know, it's just probably just some teenagers just like running around being goofballs. Yeah. I mean, it's a different thing. Like, I mean, like obviously like, like, um, I've seen, I mean, living in Los Angeles, like you've seen some things that are a little bit more real neighborhoods that I've lived mm-hmm. in. Um, but like I, I laughed really hard as you were telling that story because like there was a time when we were, God, we were like sixth, seventh grade and there was a, um, um, a lower, not major league baseball. What's the, why can I think of the word? I'm sorry, you can't ask me this. Uh, oh. A lower league a AAA, baseball? AAA baseball team in New Haven called the New Haven Ravens. Like the tow trucks drivers? No, I'm just saying it's not quite uh, MLB, but like they're like the, you know, the okay. whatever league, the farm league, farm league for baseball. baseball. And it was New okay. Haven Ravens. And we would all go and hang out there, like just as we'd be dropped off as like young kids. So there's this one specific day where we're at this New Haven Ravens game and we, and we wouldn't go to like, we were like, like yeah, we want to go watch this minor league. That's what it is. Minor league baseball oh, team, okay. like with our friends. But like we weren't, we were kind of just like horsing around, like running around, like whatever. Um, and I remember once we like found, I don't want, I don't want to say we stole, but like we happened upon like a sticker roll that was from the concession stand where they would. It must have been a sticker that they put on the hamburgers that they made that they sold at the baseball game because it said all beef hamburgers. And it was just like a roll of like a thousand stickers that said all beef hamburgers. And it, we procured it from the the concession stand. Gosh, so lovely. then love. Do you see where I'm going? Did you like put it all over your neighborhood or something? So then we were the all beef hamburgers. You were the all beef hamburgers? Like that was our- You were the Rock Creek that was gang? Our, the our, all beef our Rock Creek- gang was the all beef hamburgers and we still joke about it because i'm still friends with these the guys ABH. and we we don't we never abbreviated it i don't know but we, we still joke about it to this day remember all beef hamburgers and like, we you, like so that's what you were tagging things that's what you would like all beef no Under, I just, underneath I just the freeway I had, I, like I overpass I all a, beef i had a yukon baseball like a uh, basketball hat and i remember i had the all beef hamburgers like that sticker in the room for like two years of my life what did you guys do with the stickers Oh, we just tagged them around. You know what I mean? We put just them everywhere. Put, put them everywhere. It's like my nightmare. But it was like an insight. It became like this like wonderful inside joke. And we're talking, I mean, this is 30 years later. And yeah. We're like, yeah, we were the all beef hamburgers. That's so like, funny. Uh, so that was my game. I love this conversation because it's like putting a different spin and perspective on like my idea as a child that's followed me my whole life of like the Rock Creek gang and like yeah. the- I like that name. Yeah. But I I do. I love rocks. I love creeks. 
I, maybe I could have like been West friends with these people, but like in my head, them being these like criminals that escaped prison and then they've chosen to like graffiti things. But now in my mind going like, it's just like, like some kids having fun and they happen to be like, you know, like you guys, like they how found these beef stickers and like. All beef hamburgers. It's so funny. Um, okay. Well, <laughs> these conversations have all been great. I have, I do have one. I would do that thing with my friends too. If I, if I, when I was younger and I would go, sorry. No, no, I want to know. Was like, I was having a conversation in my head uh -huh. and then I started doing it aloud. But when I would see a friend and we were both wearing denim jackets, mm -hmm. I would go to da -na, da -na, da -na, da -na, da -na, like West Side Story. Yes, the I denims, know that show. The denims. The da -na, da -na, oh, you do yeah. that when you both wear yeah. denim? <laughs> and I would do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, and then you do, yeah. you do the would, like little jump? Yeah. Do you know, know like, the choreography? If I'd be like, oh, hey, you want to meet up at this bar? We want to go out tonight? Yeah. And then we were on the, it was like three of us all wearing denim jackets. Because there was that period of like four years where like everyone was only wearing uh, jean jackets. Hmm. That's cool. I don't know why I insisted on telling that story, but to get uh, out of the there brain. it is. So this you is, we're going to end on a very controversial, uh, there's more, one more. It's the last one. They can one. just listen to this for free. <laughs> yes. Oh if, I don't know if anyone's still listening to this episode, <laughs> but there's going to be a picture on the screen here that you're going to see. Okay. For the viewers here. Cause I have a question that requires you to see something. And this picture, in case you're just listening, is a picture of a bunch it. of folders uh, that you might take to school, to classes, and they're all different colors, okay? So I saw this and people seem to be very passionate about it online. And I, and I am very passionate about this and I never knew I was until I saw this, but it says, all right, let's settle this once and for all. What color folder is math? So you've got purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. When you're in school, blue. Oh, I do it wrong. No, I think. Do you, I need to see the image? Do you have the image on your phone? I sure do. You did not. What get color is math? Oof, red. Yeah, oh, love. You're right. Because most people I think say blue, but I've always thought of it as red. I hated that. But those, fo those things that had, uh, are we talking about like the notebook separator where it had like the little clear that thing? Or folders. And yeah. you had to like write mm -hmm. the, the name of the, the subject. Dividers. Yeah. And like slide the, it. Yeah. Divider. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry. No, no, no. Well, those, uh, yeah. Either that or, or these folders. This is a picture of folders, but uh -huh. I think most people say math is blue, but I've always done math what as would red. You do? What would you do? So you would have separate folders? Yeah, separate folders or separate um, You wouldn't get like the dividers. big five, the, yeah. like the big five star notebook. Yeah, of course I would. That was the brand, right? Five yeah. star. And then you would like, have, you would get to- Trapper Keeper. I know Trapper Keeper, but I'm talking about no, I'm talking about no, like at a certain point you're like, Tra spiral, yeah, get, spiral notebook, five yes, star yeah. with, his, with like, and then you could put mm -hmm. in the little divider things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that one, it was- narrow it down. Red, red for me, but blue, I think most people say blue. All right. Now- it was with one these or the colors, other, but when, when I looked at it, I read was. But mad. tell me, what are the other topics? What colors are they? Show me. I need to see it. Visualize. Science. It's green. Of course, it's green. Oh yeah! Immediately, I'm glad it's we green. agree. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What about history? History yellow. Of course, it's oh yellow. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <If> I, <laughs> of course, it's, it couldn't be anything else. It couldn't be anything else. History no. is so yellow. It's the most yellow folder I've ever seen in my life. English or social studies? Let me see it. Hold it up. Social studies, English, or Eng so, wait, wait, no. English, so I guess social studies would be history, right? Kind yeah, of, yeah, yeah. sort of. English is what we're missing here. I would go blue, I think, for English. Yeah, yeah. Blue I'd or say purple, blue. Yeah. I'd say blue or red. It's like red and blue are a toss up between math and English for me, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Both of those. But Pe I, I think. People are passionate about this. I understand. Oh, yeah. They are. Purple's like extracurricular. You know, it's like choir. Yes. Yes. <laughs> purple is, Theater. But purple yeah, is yearbook. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, it's like. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know that I've ever had an orange folder for anything. What would orange be? PE. I never took PE. Wait, why would they be having? I don't need know. A I've never taken PE. That. Do you need a folder of PE? See, when you had gym, I did didn't. You, what we talked about this. Fine, let's about talk this. about it. Again. When you had gym, you didn't have to wear I gym clothes. I didn't have gym. I didn't Get have. Out. We have talked. We literally had an episode where we talked about this for a while. I don't remember. I don't know. We've, I think I've we've never done this had a, gym. like 150 I've times. I've never been in a gym like in high school, but the only time I've ever stepped foot in the gymnasium was to take my SATs. That is it. We had gym class and we would have to change into gym clothes, which were essentially like mesh shorts right. and a mesh. We've had this conversation. That stunk. Mm -hmm. That no one ever washed ever. Mm-hmm. And then we would put our regular clothes back on and go back to class. <laughs> that was horrible. And then have more classes, then have like extra. 
So stinky. Are they still doing that? I think they might. I don't know. I don't know anything about PFAS. I never did it. From my recollection, for what? Exercise. Which is run in a circle or play like dodgeball or. Horrible. I don't know. Essentially what our kids music class is like, (laughs) that was what we would do. Well, those like little like those like um, the trays with wheels on them that you just kind of roll around on. What are those? It's like. I don't like like those. I hate them. I hate those so much. Anyways, we got to. I got to. I gotta go, go, but there's so many things I could say about that music class, but maybe another day. (laughs) It's like a, that's like a whole, (laughs) that's a whole episode, six part mini (laughs) series, our children's music class. Like we could deep dive into that one. (laughs) HBO max already bought the rights. Yeah. I'll just say this. I love their music class. I love their music teacher. I really do. Um, I think she's fabulous. And I just, I think she's wonderful. A two year old music class should be a sitcom like the office. Like it, it's like. Yeah, big time. Any of those kid classes, any of those mommy me classes. Let's write it. We'll, we gotta right, go. We gotta go write this. We gotta go write uh, a TV show, and by that TV I mean show. we're gonna go watch television. Uh, see y'all later. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Relax, later. the podcast. Bye. Bye.